Hi, this is Chef Jason Wilson. In this episode, I'm cooking one of my favorite ingredients, pork ribs, baby back ribs in a Thai glaze. And it's during one of my favorite times of year, summertime. So I'm featuring fresh herbs, watermelon, a little bit of jicama, and some spices to pick it up. Now we have two sous vide supremes to cook today. This makes it a little bit easier, but you can use one. You can check our web website recipe for the details. We're gonna set our sous vide supreme temperatures to 160 for one, 150 for the other, because we'll be doing an elongated period of time on these pork ribs. So let's get started by making our glaze. So we're gonna add some ginger to a saute pan, along with some sliced lemongrass, some chopped garlic, and some brown sugar. And we're just gonna simmer these until they get very aromatic and melt down a touch. I'm gonna add some Thai green curry paste. In the meantime, I'm gonna to start to season my watermelon, some Chinese five spice, and I wanna season these on all four sides to kinda of get that spice everywhere, adding some heat and a lot of aroma, and really penetrating that watermelon when it's compressed. And I'm going to stir up this marinade now. We get it nice and aromatic, and you can see the heat coming off there. We can smell that beautiful ginger and lemongrass. I'm going to add some fish sauce, some soy sauce, and we're going to stir in a little bit of hoisin sauce as well. We're going to bring that to a simmer. And make sure the flavors are incorporated very well. Now I'm going to add the pork ribs. I'm going to add them in raw so that we can glaze them a little bit and really start that marinating process. So I'm stirring around the pot and then adding to the pouch, to the vacuum pouch, preparing them to vacuum seal. And you can see that we're getting these ribs in here with nice spacing and adding as much marinade as I can as well. In the third step, we're going to add our jicama. This is large diced jicama with some cinnamon and some star anise, a pinch of lime juice, and some red jalapenos to add in a bit of spiciness and some red coloring. We'll do the vacuum seal on our pork ribs, again with even spacing, to get a nice even seal. And you can see all that work that went into the marinade is gonna pay off 18 hours later. So in our sous vide supreme at 160 Fahrenheit for 18 hours. Meanwhile, I'm gonna vacuum seal our jicama along with our spices, the lime juice and jalapeno and get a good compression on this. And you can see we've got some really lovely colors here. That's going to go into a 150 degree sous vide supreme bath. And our watermelon the same. We're going to get a great compression here. Chinese five spice penetrate in the watermelon. And it's going to have that, look at that red color. So that's going to go in the 150 bath as well with our jicama. And I'm going to make a little herb salad for our dish. So this is a rough chopped, uh, rough herb salad. I'm going to lightly chop up some mint. And in big chunks is what I'm looking for because I really want to taste it. I'm going to add in some Thai basil and I'm just going to rough chop some cilantro as well. So I'm going to mix up the herbs a little bit as part of our garnish for our dish and have some scallions as well on the side. And for our purposes, I've cooked some separate ribs for 18 hours, so to properly showcase this recipe. And I'm gonna open the pouch up, and from the pouch, we're gonna go straight in with the juices to a hot skillet. And that skillet is gonna have a little bit of glaze poured on top of those ribs. This glaze, you can warm up a touch or just reserve it refrigerated. You see that beautiful color there. We're gonna pop her in the broiler on high. 
And now we're going to start the compote. I'm going to remove the watermelon and I'm going to remove the jicama that's been cooking for 10 minutes. And you can see the nice spices out there, the jalapeno, everything infused in that jicama. Open our pouches and prepare to dice them up. We'll large dice the, the jicama and the watermelon, toss them together and kind of have some fun with plating them as well. Okay, so let's get the ribs out of our broiler. Now, as you can see, I've used the broiler for this to add that great caramelization, but I encourage you to get outdoors. Use a barbecue, an open fire, a grill. This, these pork ribs are very versatile and they're gonna be incredibly juicy and flavorful. Now we're gonna finish our plate by making the salsa of watermelon and jicama. We'll chop the watermelon, add to the jicama with the chilies and lots of fresh herbs. Trust me, this is an amazing way of serving watermelon and especially amazing way of doing pork ribs. Now you're gonna lock in these juices. I mean, look at the color and the flavor. Spiciness of that five spice is gonna be all over this. So plating this is gonna be a lot of fun as well. I mean, you're gonna have this tender, juicy pork rib, caramelized flavor on the outside, and all of that labor that we took to, with not only the cooking time, but all the ingredients that we've done to prepare this, it's gonna pay off when your guests, the people that you're gonna eat are gonna go freak out about how good this is. You have this great jicama crunch to it as well, and then all these fresh herbs. This dish is so dynamic, and it's something that people are gonna look at you as if you just changed their lives. And one of the great things about sous vide cooking is oftentimes and after you've cooked in that pouch, you're left with either juices and liquids that oftentimes you can correlate into your dish. So here we're gonna use some of that lime juice and jicama and chili with all that spices. Follow this recipe online, you'll love it.